Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here. And before we dive into this guitar lesson, I wanna open up and chat about something really important. You see, just like music, life is dynamic. You've got your highs and lows, and it can often be challenging and sometimes even overwhelming. I've had my fair share of those moments too, and that's why I wanna to talk to you about something that can make a big difference in your life. I'd love to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video because talking to someone who knows how to guide you through life's maze, that's priceless. Simply put, therapy gives you tools to approach your life with a whole new perspective. And that's where BetterHelp comes in. They're on a mission to make therapy more accessible and affordable, which is huge because finding a therapist can be like trying to find the perfect chord progression tricky at times. But with BetterHelp, it's like having a virtual guide right at your fingertips. Take a look at this, guys. The BetterHelp website is sleek, it's easy to use, and it's like having your own personal matchmaking service for therapists. You fill out a few questions and boom. In just a few days, you could be matched with a professional therapist who gets you. Now here's the kicker. I've got a special link in the description, betterhelp.com slash martymusic. Click that and you also get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So take that step, click that link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash martymusic. You won't regret it. Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down separate ways by journey right now. Also real quick, would love for you to subscribe here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. And if you're trying to get deeper into guitar and you need step-by-step -step guidance, I've got the courses for you, some of which are free. You just check out the links down there in the description below, and I appreciate all that extra support. It helps me out. Thank you so much. All right, let's break it down. All right, so this is a song in E minor, and the guitar part uh, starts on an E5 or an E power chord. <laughs> Along the fifth fret, I'm mostly hearing that D string, but you mute along that, not pressing down, but just lightly touching uh, above that fret, you'll get that little harmonic sound. Now, of course, without the keyboards, it doesn't quite uh, sound like the song. You need, you really need the keyboards for it. But underneath that, even though that's chugging on the E, the keyboards are playing E minor, D major, C major. Dun, dun, dun. But as if you're just playing it on guitar, the guitar part is the power chord, all right? And then on the ba, 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 the pre-chorus, once again, without the keys, if you just play the guitar, you're like, whoa, it's amazing what lack of keyboards or addition of keyboards do to the song. <laughs> So I'm playing power chords, A, B, C, D, D, A, A. So that's five, seven, eight, 10, 10, five, five. And it repeats that and then finally. So check it out. Finally, do do do, and then the chorus. It doesn't just stay on that E five chord. It's now E five, 
So someday you done to find you Break those chains that bind you da, da, we'll da, da, da. And so you could do a two or three finger power chord. If you're playing this with a full band, might be better to do just the two finger for some of this, especially on that. So it's E, da, 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 D, da, 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 C, da, 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 A5, D5. And then this is the uh, sixth fret A string and the ninth fret D string. And it's really acting as a B major chord. It resolves to E minor, but you could, you know, you could call it uh, I don't know, B B over D sharp. Guitar doesn't do that, but that's just along the key. A minor, B minor, C major, D major are in there. If you, I mean, you really don't want to play the song without keyboards, honestly. So we'll keep moving on. All right, now get yourself in this uh, 12th fret B string, 12th fret high E. So B to high E, and yes, you could do it up there as well. I found it easier right here, so I'm just going to do it how it's easier for me, and then maybe it's easier for you. If not, why are you watching this video anyway? Anyway. Okay, so so far that's just going back and forth on that 12th fret. And then it starts on that note again, and I go up to 14, 15. The second time, you can use your ring finger because we're going to bend that up. So that's 14, 15, whole step bend. And it comes back down, and you... You don't hear that. From that bend, it comes back down to the 12 there, so. <laughs> then I'm doing index with uh, 14, then index to 15, a little transition. So I'm going. And then, so uh, 14, 15, and then with my ring finger, I'm planting it on the 17. And so I'm hammering, pulling off the 19, then that 17, then coming right back. Like that. And then I'm going. So that's um, 15, 14, 15, 17 B, 17 G. And so that's a little weird. And 
And then uh, 14 on the G. And then a half step bend back and forth on that uh, 11 of the G. you improvise right on that spot but what we have is we have the key of E minor which could also be called uh, E aeolian and it's also the exact same notes as the G major Just legatoing through that uh, seven note shape. Or you could just, if you were like covering this, you could literally just do that same. the lesson thank you again for your uh, continued support real quick would love for you to subscribe here to the marty music youtube channel and then when you sign my newsletter i'll give you some free courses i've also got bonuses galore in the box description blocks below description box below thanks again hope to see you later